All right, guys, I'm recording this real quick before work uh, just to kind of explain where things are at and also why not a whole lot has been done recently. Um, it's a temporary thing. I've got a lot going on, but they're good things. Um, we'll get the camera switched over and explain a bit of what bit of what it is. After eight years of my old car being on the road, I got a new one. And she's a beaut. But you'll notice that's manual. I've driven manual before, but only little bits on friends' vehicles. So it's been a bit of a learning experience, and I've been spending some of my free time getting the um, getting the gear transitions right, and especially uh, starting off because that's a little trickier. That's when the clutch is most uh, sensitive. That's when you stall the most. So um, yeah, I've been been getting a lot of practice in that with that in my free time. Um, that's obviously more important. Being able to drive and drive well is important. So I also got this and um, what the hell was this? The QB board A20. It um, I might have turned it off. Oh no, there we go. I don't want to shut you down though. Oops. Well anyways, um, this comes with the all winner A20 chip which, for those of you who know your uh, processor stuff, that's one of the ARM processors. So I intend to use this as sort of a test bed for the ARM, uh, just because testing on real hardware is definitely preferable to testing on an emulator. Uh, emulators have their uses, of course, uh, especially when it comes to debugging. They're a lot easier to debug on. Um, but I still want to test it on a real device. And so this is, I mean, essentially a tablet just with, you know, the actual ports that you would expect out of, uh, out of a computer. Um, I got to get this set up. Uh, unfortunately, there was a little bit of a misunderstanding when I bought it. I thought it had an M.2 port, and it actually has an MSATA port, but I have an MSATA drive coming uh, that should be here pretty uh, it, it, early into next week. Um, and I'll get this booting Linux of some variety, probably Arch, but um, yeah, it, it'll be running Linux of some variety, and uh, that means Liban... Uh, I'll be able to validate that it at least works on the ARM V8. Um, the AARCH64 stuff is going to be... Uh, I'll need to get another device for that, but... Um, you know, I want to make sure it works on, uh, on a broad variety of platforms. I'm editing this video, and it looks like I forgot to add some kind of important information... Um, one of the other things that's been going on is things with a girl have been getting rather spicy, and obviously that's kind of a distracting thing. Um, my mind has been elsewhere and not on code. Obviously, you get out of the honeymoon period and... Ed focuses on other shit again. Um, I'll do what I can. I am supposed to be getting a storage device I need for that QB board. Um, at some point today, I'll get that switched over and... Um, assuming I can figure it out. Boot process on the ARM is not like the boot process on the x86. But I will try to get that set up and start getting everything tested and verify that it works on ARM uh, today. I just not really in the headspace for development all that much. But that sh kind of thing uh, should wean me back into it.